So you want to spice up your streams by having a pet and you don't want to sit there and hold like my dog Coco here for hours at a time or set up a second cam and hope that they stay in their bed. Well, there's another way around it and that's via the Capamon pet. All right, let's talk about it. I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech and if you want to learn more about live streaming and all things related to live streaming on numerous platforms like Twitch, Facebook, YouTube and beyond, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that way you get all of the videos. My brother sent me a bit of a challenge in that he wanted me to share my cat within this video but uh, the problem is my cat doesn't like being picked up so I'm going to have to politely decline your challenge. Oh. However, I'm in luck because uh, Walt has already put out everything that I need to know to actually share another type of pet in the Kapamon. So without any further ado, take it away, Walt. First, let me talk about the fact that Kapamon is not the only pet that you can use in your live streams, especially if you are a Twitch streamer. You can find that there are other pets and there were other pets before the Kapamon. And let's discuss how they are different and why I choose the Kapamon pet over these extension pets. Not that these extension pets are bad, but the problem I find with them is they're more to try to monetize your stream where the developers get 20% of the bits that are cheered and uh, the streamer then gets the 80% or yourself uh, for using the extension. And it does try to promote your viewers or users to donate bits, which therefore helps the pet grow or it engages the pet in some way now the pet will talk in chat the uh just as it will with the capamon but i find that it's limited compared to what you can do with the capamon pet and uh the extension's free to use so you can go ahead and play around with it but the other issue that i find is that it puts it on your page so there is not necessarily an overlay on your stream on so then that means the user then will have to scroll down on your page a little bit to access this pet which therefore takes the viewers eyes away from you the content pro provider so let's go ahead we're going to show uh this if you go to uh capamon.com uh you can log in using your twitch or youtube or uh, i think there's uh, even a mixer login i don't know you have to check it out but i log in via my twitch um it automatically will show you your profile when you sign up like for instance there's a i have a collection of eight pets and that's the other cool thing too you can you can change these on the fly literally you can change them right in midstream or you can change them right before you stream or after um uh, they have different themes we're going to go over that here in a minute um so we were talking about what's the difference between the capamon pet and the extensions the capamon pet is actually in your or it's an overlay it, add, it you can put it literally on your screen anywhere on your screen any size and you can move him or her or it around uh to your choosing um, so if you're playing a different type of game or say you're doing some IRL stream or a creative stream and you don't want the pet taking up uh, so much room, you can shrink it down or you can move it off to a corner spot that it's not going to obscure uh, the vision of the viewers of, of what you are providing as far as content goes. So let's go into the collections the uh marketplace For real quick i'll show you my collection uh so there's a lot of free capamons you can get right off the jump you don't need to spend a dime uh the cat is free the kappa bot is free uh the shooter is free and i think that's it i think i paid for the other ones i know the monkey um the witch the reindeer cupid so as you see we were talking that they do go off the of themes you can have halloween themes christmas themes uh they 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 have it for almost every holiday that is out there that you can go with uh, every once in a while too they will have special edition capamons that come out for instance this outpost zero i uh was an early tester of outpost zero so um i was able to grab a free capamon uh, for that and while I was playing Outpost Zero and streaming Outpost Zero I had my Outpost Zero Capamon pet on the screen now uh, the marketplace we can go there right now there's a sale going on um, but 
there, like I said, it's never, I mean, and he's, the, the uh, developer is constantly adding new Campamon pets. So if you don't see something that suits your taste, just give it a minute. And I guarantee eventually that it's going to have something that tickles your fancy. But out of these five pages of Capamons, I don't see how it, there's not going to be one that would suit your stream. Uh, we were talking about the Halloween ones. We got the zombie, we got the ghost, uh, Christmas ones, we got the reindeer. Um, let's see here. You got pretty much every kind of animal you can think of. Uh, let's keep going here. Um, yeah, uh, the pug. I love the pug. I should I should snatch him up since he's on sale. I uh, haven't added him yet, but here here's more Halloween stuff. Stream a lantern, the witch, like I have. Um, there's my monkey. I love my monkey. Uh, Grim Reaper, another Halloween one. You got Cupid for uh, Valentine's Day, unicorns, aliens, you name it. As you see, there's a lot of pets. He didn't have quite this many pets when I first started using Capamon. So it's always cool for me to go back into the browser and see what he's added. Um, or you could follow through the Discord or on Twitter and um, follow that way to see what he is currently working on. Um, so unfortunately some of the some of the Kappamon, or actually the majority of the Kappamons, I'm not gonna you know pull wool over your eyes do cost real money and you can buy them from uh i think the starting package is ten dollars and that should be able especially with the sale right now possibly get you two Kappamons to get you started but then again there are free ones to snatch up as well so uh for instance let's go with cupid okay so cupid was free now, there's different mutations, but there's no mutation for this one. But for instance, with the monkey, there is a Santa monkey. And actually, I have that one. So when Christmas comes, I will switch over my monkey and have him put on the Santa Claus hat. Uh, so if you want to go through and look at the different animations. So right now, uh, Cupid is dancing. This is what Cupid would look like when it's idle on your screen. When they eat something. And you can literally go through and click all the different animations to see what this Kappamon is going to do on screen for you. And then here's the greeting one when somebody comes in. Now, we'll, this is a two-part video. And we're going to go into the commands in more depth on the second part. Because I feel that that would take up a lot of people. People just want to know about Kappamon to see if it's an option for their streams. To liven up the stream. To engage with the viewer. So here's the thing. The Kappamon through commands can do different things or say different things in the chat. Or respond to chat on the screen. So for instance, if I have a viewer that comes in and they see me die in a game and they put RIP, rest in peace, my Kappamon has a response for that. Uh, and you could you could put gifts in there. Uh, I mean, there's so many different things you can have the Kappamon do. So let's go ahead. We're going to dip into the uh, commands. I'm not going to go in in real detail until part two of the video to show you how to do these commands, but I'm going to give you examples of what this Kappamon is going to be able to do as far as in commands. So you have various types of commands. You have the auto commands, which are usually built into the Kappamon. So basically when somebody comes into the stream for the first time, that stream, um, the, the Kappamon will say, hello, so-and-so, as long as they've engaged in chat. Now, if they're sitting there lurking, the Kappamon won't shout them out. But as soon as they put hi, or what's going on, or I love the game you're playing, then the Kappamon automatically then is gonna say, you know, hello, and then the user's name. And then uh, it does the greet command. Um, I have it also doing for subs. So anytime somebody subscribes to me, resubs, does a special thing, cheers, uh, aka bits, hosts, um, anytime a user's been banned, uh, follows, which that was something that was added not too long ago. Uh, there was a workaround that I did and put up on my other YouTube page showing people how to get around it. But now, like I said, the guy is constantly working on this uh, Kappamon pet uh, program, and it, it's awesome, the things that he's... I mean, he listens to the people that use it, uh, and he, he responds in a timely manner as well. Um, so, I mean, there's so many different things. So now they're scheduled. So every so often, which I have it set at 1,200 seconds, my Kappamon is going to say, let those freak flags fly, which is kind of like a little saying in the chat. And you can set that up. You you can even say, hey, check out my YouTube page and have a link, you know, dropped in. 
and the Kappa mom will say that every however long you want to say. Now, you know, I wouldn't get too spammy with it. So it works just the same way as another chat bot would, but this is, like I said, all over, it's an overlay. It's actually on your screen itself, which makes it really cool. Now, uh, like here's the rest in peace. Uh, so when somebody says rip, it actually comes up with uh, uh, Bill Paxton, rest in peace, uh, from one of the scenes on Aliens after their, you know the ship just crash landed that was supposed to rescue them. And he's basically saying, we're screwed now. Um, so I had that GIF come up or whatever, and you can set how long the GIF shows or how long the message shows. Now, that is a keyword pro, uh, command. So anyone that drops that, and I have it set to everyone, or yeah, everyone. So anyone that's in my chat, whether they're a follower, not a follower, a subscriber, not a subscriber, if they put RIP into chat, my Kappamon is gonna do this. Now, here's the thing, you, you, you're gonna wanna assign it a uh, cooldown. So there's the duration, the duration is eight seconds long, and the cooldown is 10 seconds. So in other words, like if two people say rest in peace, it's not gonna spam it or whatever. Matter of fact, I probably should even have it set to maybe even 60 seconds, give it a minute cooldown, uh, just in case, you know, there's an epic fail that I just did and everyone's dropping rest in peace in there, my Kappamon's not going crazy. Uh, GG for good games. Uh, you can put other uh, viewers names in there like say you have some uh, VIPs that are constantly supporting your streams um, You can put their names in there that way when they come in and or somebody talks about them Your Kappa mom will respond appropriately uh, it, 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 There's triggers as well. So these are actual commands and a lot of you who've used uh, Chat bot commands before they usually start out with an exclamation and then whatever so like if anyone typed in or myself types an exclamation yt in my chat it the kapamon is going to then going to say https youtube.com bionic vapor you know so that way they know where to go to to you know check out my youtube uh, so there's all sorts of things and like i said part two we're going to get into this in more detail i'm going to show you how to set each one of these up whether it's an auto whether there it's a scheduled a keyword or a trigger and show you how you can manipulate the Kappamon. So uh, hang on, don't take off quite yet. I'm gonna show you exactly what a Kappamon is gonna look like on your stream overlay. Let's go there now. Okay, so here we have, we have Streamlabs OBS open and on the bottom right hand corner here, there is my Kappamon, that is my monkey Kappamon. Now, in part two, I will show you how easy it is to set the Kappamon up. But first, like I said, I want to uh, present this video to see, to get maybe possibly you interested in using Kappamon or possibly going with other virtual pets that are uh, embedded in your uh, Twitch page versus being on your overlay. Uh, some people don't want their overlay real super busy and whatnot. Um, but well, I'm going to show you here real quick what I mean. We can actually open up chat and... So for instance, we're gonna type in hi, let's see. See, there we go. So the monkey says, yo, sup bro. So even the monkey responds to me as the streamer in chat, and I'm not even live right now. So that is how good this Kappamon program works. So we were talking about the rest in peace. We're gonna type in rip, and then there we go. Now that's great, man. We got Bill Paxton in there on aliens. Uh, throwing the garbage down of the wreckage plane. So, I mean, there are so many different things you can do with the Kappamon that helps your viewers. And you'll even get your lurkers engaging. I've had people that usually will just lurk and sit quietly in my chat. And when they see other people triggering my Kappamon to do different things, they then want to find it. And that's the other thing too. I don't announce or tell people what words to type in to get my, I want them to discover that as they engage with me uh, during the live streams. I want them to kind of accidentally find these words and see the Kappamon go off and go, oh, well, that's pretty cool, you know? So it does kind of draw away attention from me, the streamer, and put, kind of puts it on the pet, but that's what we kind of want to do. We kind of want to have like a multifaceted entertainment system for people because, you know, depending on what game you're streaming or what type of content you're providing, there are certain lull points in that content 
that your viewer's eye is slowly going to be drawn away from, whether it's onto you uh, using a cam. And this is great for people that don't use cams during their live streams as well, because then it gives them something to look at as they engage you, the live streamer. Now, like I said before, this is a two-part series, so definitely stay tuned for the second part or uh, if you're watching this after this has been out for a few weeks, uh, definitely check out the playlist. The second part will be in there and I'm gonna show you how to install the Capamon uh, into your overlay and we're gonna play with the commands and I'm gonna show you what you can do and maybe uh, give you some ideas and trigger that imagination of yours and maybe you can do even cooler stuff than I've been doing. All right, but until then, uh, check out this cool video right over here, all right.